Torrin Young, running back, Madison, Wisconsin. And Torrin Young breaks free off the right side. It's a foot race. He's angling toward the far sideline. Um, Madison is a decent size city. He's not too big, not real small. Probably about 250,000 people there. It's a college town. Uh, so having campus right in downtown, uh, you know, growing up uh, watching sports and, you know, going to uh, different events and things like that. I grew up watching Badger football. So all my family was pretty much born and raised in Madison, Wisconsin. So uh, a lot of my family is Badger and Packer fans. So uh, I grew up watching Badger football. Not a Packers fan, though. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely exciting to have the opportunity to uh, go to Camp Random and play in front of, you know, your family, coaches, high school, friends. Um, you know, like I said, growing up watching, you know, some Badger football games and just seeing, you know, the hype there is around the uh, stadium uh, and just getting to go back and play there. Uh, it's really exciting um, and I'm really looking forward to it. I got your back, I got your back, I got your back, I got everybody back. All I want to know, all I want to know is, who got my back? I got your back. Who got my back? I got your back. Who got my back? I got your back. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey, family on me, family on three. One, two, three, family. I respect our opponents, always do that. All right, but we're ready to go, okay? You got a good week of practice, good week of preparation. All right, get down to this, all right? So it's team football, team football, everybody doing their job, mentally and physically, best of your ability. And it's all out effort, all out determination, all, right, all out fight every snap of the game. That's what we got to do. Let's go. Come on. Two states, Iowa and Wisconsin, that produce much of what we eat. Two state universities whose defenses devour opposing offenses. It's a critical Big Ten West Division slugfest this afternoon here in Madison. The Hawkeyes and the Badgers looking to go one up in a November race to track down Minnesota. From Camp Randall Stadium, hi everybody, I'm Gary Dolphin with, as always, former Hawkeye great Eddie Podolak, settling in for what is always a bruising football game. Third down, and now 13 after the walk-off of five. Here's Cone back to pass. Hawks get some pressure on him. A.J. A.J. Evanessa knocks the ball out. It's loose. The Hawkeyes are on it at the 17-yard line. Should be Iowa's, our ball. Iowa's saying they have it. And the All-American candidate, A.J. Epinesa, makes the first big play of the day. And there's the signal Hawkeye ball, and he got around that big left tackle. And he gave That's some Van ground. Lannan. Yeah, gave some ground and then turned right back up into the quarterback and got his arm. Boy, you could see it coming. Oh, oh, oh the Hawks in the red zone, 96%, 26 for 27. 15 touchdowns and nine field goals. Stanley to throw on third and goal. He's hit as he lets it go and fires into the end zone out the back. Door incomplete, so they call on the foot of Keith Duncan once again. 19 for 22 on the year with a long of 49. This is like an extra point and it's right through as the Hawkeyes take the early lead, 3-0. It is a lead, but mm, maybe a missed opportunity there. And off the turn, he turns the corner, gets the first down, 30-35, running behind Kyler's shot. Look at, look at the big fella from North Lynn rumbling down the sideline. Single receivers either way with a tight end, Sean Byer. Warren Young on a cutback, close to the first down, has it. He batters his way through two red shirts, and inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, Stanley has a fumbled exchange with center Tyler Lindebaum. Wisconsin has the football. Fumbled snap between the center and quarterback is just very, very seldom happens this late in the season. Taylor's in the backfield, man in motion. Oh, they shift it to the man in motion. He's going for the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Touchdown, Badgers. 
Tight end Byer goes in motion. Tyrone Tracy at the top of the field. They hand off to Tyler Goodson, and he's got running room. 40, 35, 30, 28 yard line of Wisconsin. First and 10 Hawkeyes. Boy, this is really ripped wide open for him. It's a fake pass, and then they give it to him like a draw play. And uh, they caught those linebackers coming up to fill, and he found the hole. 21 yards for Tyler Goodson. He's got jet speed. This will be a 40-yard field goal by Keith Duncan, who's been spot on all season long. And this one is right through again. 7-6 Wisconsin. 6.31 to go in the first half. Ferguson, the tight end, goes in motion. Left to right. Here's Cohn on a rollout. Now throws back to the other side. And touch. Touchdown, Wisconsin. A well-designed play again. It's 13th ranked Wisconsin, 14, and number 18, Iowa, 6. The Heartland is brought to you by Mediacom. Today's broadcast is powered by Extreme. Feel the power of amazingly fast internet up to one gig. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. Ready to go, Ed. 30 minutes of football left. Tight end is in the backfield. Cone is going to throw down the sideline. As a man, Cephas caught at midfield. Down to the 40, down to the Iowa 33. And the Badgers go up top on first down in the pistol. And here it is. Cone to throw. Looks down the middle of the field and throws to the sideline. Caught, touchdown. And Wisconsin proving that they can score in a hurry, too. The Hawkeyes try to strike back down 21 to 6. And it's caught by Tyrone Tracy up near midfield. A deep pass. And Nate goes quickly back to work. Final couple minutes of the uh, third quarter. Stanley fights off a blitz, throws a great catch by Amir Smith on a deep slant. Maybe the last play of the third quarter. Stanley throws caught near sideline. Tracy diving for that goal line. Can't quite get there, but he's down at the two. Triple team to the left. Stanley throws. It is caught for a touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. First time today we've been delighted to say that. Nico Regani on the grab. His first touchdown of the season and as a Hawkeye. And he just goes right to the goal line and sits down. They throw it low so nobody can knock it away from him. They've got to get him uh, off the field here on this series. Double slot either way. Back to pass. Cone throws and picked up. up. Intercepted by Matt Hankins. Intercepted by Matt Hankins. The Hawks get their first pick of the day and their second turnover. Well, and they've been throwing the ball in front of these cornerbacks all day. And uh, Hankins that time did not give any ground. He saw that pass coming and stepped in front. See if he can boot his third one through for the day. It's certainly long enough and good. 21 to 16. It's a one score game for the Hawks to get the lead with 9.27 to play in the football game. Badgers up five. Interesting formation on third down seven. He looks. Now he's going to keep it himself. Turns the corner. Gets uh, dropped after a three-yard gain. Terrific play by Chauncey Golston, who forced him a little wider than he wanted to go, and that allowed Lattimore to come up and pancake him. From the 19-yard line, it'll be a 29-yard field goal, and it's good. And a big three points on the board for Wisconsin, who go back to an eight-point advantage. Tyrone Tracy, wide right. Amir Smith wide left, Regani in the slot. He's had a good second half. He's been the middle man. Stanley throws down the field, caught by Tracy on a deep post. He's loose, 30, 25, 20. Nobody going to catch him. It's a touchdown, a touchdown, Iowa. No flags, and the Hawkeyes are two points away from tying the football game up. 75 yards, Stanley with a missile down the middle of the field. Well, you know, when you keep running those blitzes, then you've got man-to-man -man coverage on the outside, and that, they read it right. 
And what, what a couple of weeks this young man has had. Back-to-back -back dynamite explosion plays for Tyrone Tracy. Now the Hawks go for two. 24-22 with 3.12 to go. What is Brian Ferris drawn up here? Stanley calls for the ball. Sargent's in the backfield, four wideouts. Stanley on a quarterback keeper, fighting for the goal line. Did he get over? Did he get over? I thought he got there initially, but Wisconsin met him right at the chalk line. And let's see. No, they say he did not get in. What a Going shot. The field, forward, short of the goal line. Try is no good. What a shot he took oh. at the goal line. Yeah, the umpire got in the middle of it, too. I think he wanted to, to try to, to veer to the right a little bit, and the umpire was right there. In the end, Wisconsin, two points better, and they continue to win these these close, excruciatingly close games. Boy, and physical, how, how physical is that game? The Heartland is brought to you by Iowa Corn, brought to you by Iowa's corn farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and the Iowa Corn Promotion Board. You may think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. So I started playing football in second grade, played flag football for the YMCA, and then I first started tackle football in fourth grade for a, a team called Warner Park. Growing up, I played football, uh, baseball, basketball, um, in high school, started doing track. I mean, I wasn't too heavily recruited. I got letters from some, from some schools. Um, as far as schools I visited, uh, Iowa, obviously, <laughs> um, Wisconsin a couple times, Michigan State, um, NIU, um, so pretty much like some Big Ten schools, and then I got a letter from some other Big Ten schools, but other than that, uh, not too heavily recruited out of the area. Single receivers either way with a tight end, Sean Byer, Torrin Young on a cutback, close to the first down, has it, he batter batters his way through two red shirts. Um, Torn Young is a very physical downhill running back. Um, he's strong. Um, he's a guy that knows how to use his body, um, especially once he gets his pass square. It's hard to stop Torn once he's downhill with square shoulders. Um, you appreciate that out of a back. A lot of guys don't have the size or the power to match um, Torn Young's size. He, uh, he's very competitive and he, he likes to push us. You know, he who always comes with uh, you know, different challenges for us each and every day. Uh, things to just help us, you know, take our game to the next level. Just really coming to Iowa and getting around the coach and staff and just uh, being around some of the players and just the atmosphere here uh, really felt like home. And it, it's really a family atmosphere. Um, the development at, uh, aspect of it, you know, the coaches are really looking to, you know, build you up and, uh, you know, uh, get you fundamentally sound, and you know, not everybody who comes here is five-star athletes or you know the most athletic guys. But you get really well coached here, and you you learn the game of football. The Heartland is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. Hawkeye football is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. Avoid breakdowns in coverage with U.S. Cellular. IV where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. Ivy proudly supports the Iowa Hawkeyes. It was an obvious passing down. Um, we had them in second and long, and we knew that their tendencies were to, to pass in that situation and with certain personnel they had on the field. And um, I just took advantage of the set I had. Um, I kind of had a later get off. We were in a different formation where all the guys were standing up. And um, I was a little late off the ball, uh, but I was able to catch back up to the tackle and he was lunging for me because I had already gotten a couple power rushes on him. And uh, he lunged at me and I was able to swipe his hands down uh, with the speed rush. And then uh, I was able to bend the corner and get behind the quarterback as he was about to throw it. And then uh, we always try to get the ball back to the offense. 
and uh, that's what we did. Um, I was able to get it out and said did a good job of uh, getting on top of the ball. We got the play call in the huddle and I knew there would be a, a good shot that I was getting the ball. So I was a little bit excited and as soon as we the ball was snapped, I saw the defense spread out and there was a little hole for me to sit in. I turned around and Staley made a great pass, keeping the ball away from the defender and I caught it and it was pretty memorable. It was a pretty cool feeling. Tyrone Tracy, wide right. Amir Smith, wide left. Reganey in the slot. He's had a good second half. He's been the middleman. Stanley throws down the field. Caught by Tracy on a deep post. He's loose. 30, 25, 20. Nobody going to catch him. It's a touchdown. A touchdown, Iowa. So actually, I, I thought the ball was coming to me at first. And I was a little bit nervous because I saw a linebacker ready to take my head off. And thankfully, Stanley made a, a great decision, threw it to Tyrone. And after that, it was a 75-yard touchdown, which was pretty exciting, and I ran down the field and just celebrated with Tyrone. I mean, ever since spring ball, I felt like me and Tyrone had a great bond here. We're both the, the same grade, and we, we push each other every single day. We play the same position pretty much, and it's truly like a, a real, true friendship. I want him to do good. He wants me to do good. You know, that was my first career interception, so I was extremely excited, and the fact that we was down in the fourth quarter to get the ball back to the offense just made it 10 times better and the fact that we were able to put up points after that. Uh, I think defense, we just didn't play to our standards. We, uh, we usually play at a high level and uh, we really struggled with tackling, communication and just all across the board. We just didn't really play um, to what we're capable of and um, we're going to take it as a learning step and just improve on this coming week. Minnesota, they got three very good receivers, dangerous. Uh, they like to do RPOs a whole lot. So, you know, this week, you know, we just got to have really good technique and good eyes and just play with good leverage. I think any competitor is going to get excited over a challenge like that. Uh, just knowing that they like to throw the ball deep and the little glances that they throw. So uh, when you're on top of them, you know, you just got to go up and compete for it. And the, be the best player will win it. They don't do a lot of stuff. They do, they do like, four or five things on offense, and um, they're really good at what they do. Um, and their guys are really big, their O-line's big, their running backs run hard, their quarterback's uh, the, the head of the snake, and their uh, wide receivers are all athletes and can catch the ball. And so um, all, around the, all around, they're a really uh, well-edged team, and it's gonna be a challenge for us.